Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Please like the videos, comment, share, and subscribe to join the tribe. It's funny, I just, that's like part of my Willow's Wisdom intro. Um, but I don't know, it just felt right for some, for some reason. I'm changing the angle of things just a little bit today. It's probably not going to stay this way, but... Um, I don't know. I felt like doing something different. So that could be within this energy for some of you, like just changing things up, changing up your routine, um, the structure of something, or I don't know. It's just change. It's welcoming in change is what it feels like. Cause maybe some of you are looking at the bigger picture of a situation. Um, yeah, I feel like today's a good day for positive change or to start changing things around. So some of you are just taking the steps in a new direction, even if they're baby steps. Um, instead of doing the same old, same old, there's some type of change. So that's really what it feels like. So let's, let's see. Your hard work is paying off. Uh, here we go. Your hard work is paying off. Also, a lot of you are um, receiving intuitive hits more and more and I, I think I can't remember if it was one of my last readings where I was saying that things seemed kind of quiet and then um, like you weren't seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities or having psychic dreams or getting a lot of intuitive hits and then all of a sudden it would rev up and I feel like now it's starting to rev up again for some of you not for all of you but whatever you're working on whether it's just a personal goal career project whatever this is for you i feel like these little baby steps and minor changes and shifts are working out for you um because whatever this is it it hasn't been easy it's like a long road to hoe like you've been it's it's taken time and for some of you it might have felt like a net the never-ending story you know, like this is never going to happen. It's never going to get off the ground. This change isn't going to occur. But it, it has been slowly, like so slowly that you don't really see those little changes until you look back. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't realize how much you've grown, how much you've changed, how much you've healed until you look back on situations and go, wow, in the past I would have said this, done this, handled it whatever way. Like for example, um say somebody says something stupid online to you no matter who it is what it's about it's just hater raider shit and in the past you would have uh blown your top flew off the handle you would have or you would have said something back and now you're not you're taking time to breathe out and go it ain't worth it you know what i mean like so that would be a change you're not acting or reacting in the same way that you used to that's something minor that could be going on for some of you but regardless of things like that, like that example, it's, it's just a change in who you are and how you handle stuff and your approach to things. And it's taken a while is what it feels like, but I don't know. It's like, this feels like it's really, it's happening really fast, but yet really slow because in the moment when we're going through things, I've said this before, we don't always see the changes we don't know it's like we don't see the progress until we look back and go oh this is where I started and now look at where I am you know what I mean even if you're not where you want to be you're further you're further than you were there we go <laughs> something like that all right so let's see what's going on for the collective spirit I just heard you have time. You've got time. You've got time to make whatever this is happen or to achieve this goal. Uh, there's no there's no time limit. You've got time. Don't rush. Okay, so there's something that you might feel like you're on the wire with. Like, I got to do this. I got to do this. But you you don't need to rush it, whatever it is. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. So sometimes it's necessary to get out of your heart space and into your head to be more logical. Because like I said, with the whole, that example of like someone saying something mean and you being reactive in the past, but you're not now, that's getting out of your emotions and not letting your emotions rule you. Because when you're angry or upset, you can be like, oh, 
and then do do something you regret or make a situation worse. So a lot of you are getting out of your emotions and allowing yourself to process whatever's going on before you say or do anything, which is good. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Um, I don't really feel like the collective is full of resentment or anything. This could be advice for someone around you or someone who's going to approach you, whether they did already or not. Um, I just heard I meant what I said. I meant what I said. Something to do with a cloud or clouds. I meant what I said. Clouds and a vision, clouded vision. Someone's not seeing something clearly. I meant what I said. It's like I meant what I sent. Did somebody send a message to someone? Like literally a text or something? I meant what I sent. I meant what I said. I just heard you will pay. You will pay. That doesn't feel bad though. That doesn't, like at first it kind of sounds that way. Like you'll pay for this. But that's not how it's coming through though. It feels like I meant what I said or sent. Like you'll pay for something. So I don't know if there's something you want to pay for. Like literally with money. Like I'm buying this from so and so kind of thing. Um, I'll pay for that. So some of you might be paying for something like literally with money um and maybe somebody doesn't believe that you're gonna do it or i don't know i have no clue what that is whatever it is to you i'm not gonna sit here and try to decipher it all right something to do with timing hmm. all right I just heard I got this handled. Okay. I got this handled. Something to do with work. Somebody trying to handle something at work and pay for something through work or at work or something for work. Yeah, fucking money and warning. What did I say? I'll pay. I said I'd pay for that. What is this? It has to do with a purchase. Like I said I would pay for that. Okay. It has to do with buying something in banking. Um, someone might get upset over money I, or whatever the situation is. I don't know if somebody owes you money or if you owe them money. Just relax is what I heard. Um, with warning, we have just relax in this situation. Use caution in this situation. Okay. Use caution. There's, there's some financial aspect here. There's something to do with money that you need to be cautious about. And for some reason, I don't feel like it's your own money. Um, I don't know if it has to do with like somebody helping you paying for something or I just heard you've been warned about this. Use caution in this situation. Follow your intuition. Really listen to yourself when dealing with some type of financial matter. This doesn't feel like a nine to five job. Like, you know, when you get your paycheck and stuff, this is like money coming from someone. I don't know if they owe you money. They said they were going to pay for something or if this is like something you said, but it, it feels like there's a pro. I don't know. It's not even a lack of money. There's a problem with money. All right, let's see what is up with this. Cause this is, I just heard don't get upset over this. Don't get upset over this. Did somebody order something they shouldn't have ordered? Why 
Why the hell would that, oh, whatever, all right, let's see. Is it this deck yet? Yeah, okay, so what's going on? What is this money about? I just heard, just pull a card and put it back. Okay. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Could be a family situation. Pull a card and put it back. Tens are endings, but they bring new beginnings. I just looked at the word win. Um, and this is all about, you know, fulfillment, being happy. Like, happy family, just, you know, a sense of fulfillment within yourself, even. Like, just, uh, I don't know, it's like trying to make people happy or trying to make someone happy with money, maybe? Um, there's some type of financial win that I feel like, I don't think this, this is actually a win though. Hmm. Somebody trying to buy your attention, buy your love. I don't know, for some reason this feels like everything's going smoothly, it's working out, there, there could be some type of financial gain here, um, like money's coming in, or there's a sense of stability and security, but there's, you might have an off feeling about it, like, okay, well, everything seems fine, why, why do I have this weird feeling, like something, like the, the shoe's gonna drop, you know what I mean, the ball's gonna drop, whatever, something's gonna go wrong, why do I feel that way? It's your intuition telling you that something isn't right with whatever the situation is or that the situation is very temporary. Something to do with banking. Banking is very significant. I don't know if there's multiple banks or what the shit that's about. I really don't. Um, there's lies tied to this as well. Distort. It's like clouded vision. Something's distorted. I want to say don't let money distort your vision. Like, don't, like... How do I want to say this? Because things are not always as they seem, is what I want to say. Because that's what it's making me feel like with really listen to your intuition. Because, you know, if somebody's manipulative or if there's um, an un unhealthy situation, I mean, it works... I guess it works the most with people. So if somebody's trying to act a certain way or put on a persona or show you whatever they want you to see, but you have this weird feeling like your gut's going, something feels wrong here, something feels off here, you're probably not wrong, but it can confuse you because... Okay, it can confuse you because what you're seeing goes against what you're feeling. Do you know what I mean? But your intuition is letting you know. So really trust yourself. Like, trust what you feel versus what you see. Because what you see isn't always exactly what it is or what's going on. Because, you know, people always say, seeing is believing. I have to see it to believe it or whatever. But that's not always the case. Sometimes by the time you see something... That's the confirmation, and if it's a warning, if it's something bad, you don't want to see it. You want to listen before it happens. Do you know what I mean? As I always talk about concrete evidence and, you know, getting, like, confirmations with your intuition, which is cool, and it helps you truly believe in yourself and listen, because when you get those little wins, it's like, oh, wow, I thought that, and then it happened, or I saw that, and then there it is. That's Spirit's way of showing you that you can trust yourself. Like, what you're hearing, seeing, feeling, sensing, whatever is is legitimate so that when you do get these warnings you don't have to wait for that to happen for you to go oh i felt that why didn't i listen you know you should just listen err on the side of caution head over heart <coughs> because money is all like shiny and pretty you know what i mean like materialistic shit i don't know there's like a show here where as someone's putting on where it's like everything's going great, this is wonderful, it's, I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to cloud someone's vision, I'm trying to confuse them, 
it is confusing if somebody's doing the opposite of of what's really going on. That's what that feels like. I just heard don't get mad over this. It's not worth it. I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe we'll find out, but... I just heard this too shall pass just like the seasons. So this problem will go away. Yeah, somebody's trying to cloud someone's vision. It's confusing. There's manipulation. What the fuck did I just say? And then we have the three of swords, which is heartbreak. But this one, this is facing the magician. That's how it ended up in the deck. It's projection. Some of you could be uh, strong empaths where, you know, you basically project uh, other people's pain back to them. Because if you can feel what they're feeling or sensing, like not sensing, because I don't feel like this person's very uh, intuitive, just saying whoever the hell it is to you. It's someone you would be around on the regular, even if you don't live with them. Um, like they would be in your energy, that's for sure. And I feel like when you're, whenever you're around them, you might pick up on whatever they're dealing with. Even if you don't know exactly where it's coming from or what the hell it is, what it's all about. Like just, I don't know, it just feels like you're picking up on someone's energy. And it's painful energy. And you're either telling this person about it or you're reflecting it back to them. And I just think they like it. Because this person doesn't want to look in the mirror, whoever they are. And you're, you're kind of making them. Hmm. I heard don't give up. Because we have the nine of wands reversed, which is about pretty much giving up. I just heard don't give up on yourself. You're not wrong. Uh, whatever, whatever you're sensing and feeling, you're not wrong. But you might be, like, I feel like the light just flashed. You might be um, questioning something because because it's what you feel is not what you see. Because you don't have to see it to believe it. Because once you do, it's going to be too late. Don't invest. Don't wait. Whatever this is, it's a bad investment. Um, it's time to let go. I feel like don't give up on yourself. It's time to let go of help. So someone could be very codependent in this situation. I don't know if it's financially. It could be, but I don't. Whatever it is, it's time to let go of help. I just heard this person isn't helping you. So if there's someone around you who who appears to be helpful and friendly and whatever, they're they're actually they're not. You can do whatever this is on your own. You don't need this person's help. You don't need them. But I feel like they they want you to think that you do. Or they're trying to make you think that you do need them. This is fucking confusing. Because what it feels like is to the outside world, you look codependent on this person or dependent on them. Do you know what I mean? Like other people, so it could be a financial situation. It could be anything. But regardless, it's like, we do have a lot of pentacles to say in. <coughs> and money's right there. But, um to the outside world, whatever the situation is, um, it, it appears that you're the one in need of help, probably financial help, but it's actually the other way around. You're fine. Cause I feel like whatever this quote unquote help is, you don't, you don't need it. It's just, it's a level of comfort, but it's also I don't know, because it's not just helping you, it's helping them. Like, that's the way you're looking at it. Like, we help each other. But this situation seems very one-sided. Even if you were 
looking at it as though it wasn't. But anyways, I was getting sidetracked with that. Like, like I said, the outside the outsiders would think that you're the dependent one, but in reality, it's whoever, whoever's quote unquote helping is the dependent one. Because they're lost. I don't know. They know you're good on your own and, and they're not. Hmm. Alright, give me a moment, please. Angelic help is here. I'm just saying. It's not on its way. It's here. Yeah, it's time to move forward and end something. It's time to give up on something. or This person needs to give up on whatever plans they had involving you. Whatever this is, it's time to, it's time to let something go. Some of you could have turned this offer down. I don't know what the offer is exactly, but you could have already let it go. Maybe this person's not happy about it, but... Um, I don't know if there's any offers like, oh, I want to help you do this. I want to work with you. I want to whatever. I would just, I would really listen to yourself and um, not, not jump ship. <laughs> That's what I just heard, but not jump into something. So if you've got something good going on right now, even if you're not exactly, it, it doesn't seem like it's really going anywhere. You're not like wicked happy doing whatever. It's just kind of, Help, like I don't know, it's your job, you know, whatever. That's just an example. Um, don't jump ship just because some opportunity like pops up out of nowhere. Because I feel like I feel like whatever this opportunity is 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 not is is not lasting. I feel like I don't know how to move forward. I don't know which opportunity to take. I don't know what to do here. That's what this feels like. I don't know what to do here. So I'm just going to go. That's probably where the whole don't jump ship thing is coming in. Um, I would really sit back and think before you make any drastic changes. Oh, there's a good opportunity around that someone is not looking at because they're focused on whatever's going on around them, whatever's happening. I don't know, because I want to... I want to say this is divine. This is like a divine opportunity, whatever this cup is. It, 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 seems, it seems like a pipe dream. It seems like, oh, this, this can't fucking happen. This isn't going to happen. This, uh, you know, that's just a daydream. That's make-believe kind of thing. Yeah, right. Because I'm just going to focus on the shit in the material realm, like what this person's offering, this person, that person, whoever. Could all be from the same person. But it's like, which one of these? Someone's focused on the wrong shit. Which one of these should I take? I don't know what to do here. Hmm. They they shouldn't even be looking at this. They should be looking at that. Someone's focused in the wrong direction. And they're going to make a bad move. Yeah, they're going to make a bad move. There's a painful ending here. This is a split decision. I don't know. Someone's going to... Someone's going to make a decision on a whim. Like, oh, I'm doing this. Or I'm not doing this. I don't know. Whatever the fuck it is, it's on a whim. And it's going to end very poorly. Five of Cups. I never should have done that. There's going to be regret here. Somebody didn't think something through. This already happened. Somebody didn't think something through. And I don't know, it's not going to end well for them. I feel like because of this decision, 
You're on your own. You're on your own. Someone's on their own because they did... I don't know if they took from you. I just saw energy vampire. And your intuition. Okay, I want to say there's a difference between your intuition, spirit communication, and like telepathic communication. Um, the energies come in differently. And it's hard to decipher sometimes, especially if you're learning. Someone could have messed with you intuitively, especially if they know you're gifted. Um, just for some of you, that's not for all of you. But what I want to say with that is spirit will never tell you to do anything bad. Like, they'll warn you of bad things, but they won't be like, oh, you should do this. Like, do you know what I mean? Especially if it goes against, like, say you have a thought and you're like, like, uh, I don't know what the thought is. <laughs> like, the thought isn't a good one. Like, oh, I should go do something that is illegal or stupid. And you're going, why did that pop in my head? Like, I shouldn't do that. Like, that's stupid. But you feel like, you know, your guides wouldn't misguide you kind of thing danger ahead could be something dangerous even but whatever it is it's like if it feels like some type of guidance but from the devil I guess you could say um spirit is just advising you not to listen to stuff like that most of you wouldn't but if you get confused by what you're sensing and picking up on that's somebody else sending that to you Which is making me want to go back to this. Ignore that idea. That just contradicted everything I fucking said before, didn't it? With this card. Focus on the moment. Focus on reality. The reality of a situation or just, just whatever's going on around you. I just heard not every idea that pops in your head is a good one. Um, which is true because we got to sort through our thoughts, but... I don't know, for some reason, I just want to say for a small few of you, if you um, can pick up on energies and do telepathic communication, just uh, be aware that some intrusive thoughts, first of all, are not your own, and not all of them need to be paid attention to. Do you know what I mean? Not every thought is significant. Not every message is significant. There we go. Because some of them are, are going to hurt you. Or that's the intention behind it. I just heard you'll know when it's spirit. Like you'll know. You'll know. If you really stop and reflect. If you relax. And just let information come to you. Because most of the times if you're gifted. And you just kind of sit back and chill that's when information flows in because you're not, you're not trying, you're not thinking, you're not overthinking, you know what I mean? Um, that's when stuff flows in, proper information. Because whatever this is, these aren't your own thoughts. I don't know, these are bad thoughts. These aren't your own thoughts. They're, it's not your thoughts. That's fucking weird. I know that I can do telepathic communication, so it's not that weird, but it I don't know. These thoughts are not your own. <laughs> That's what I want to say for someone. Um, whoops. Queen of Wands. I almost said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a significance with a cat or a black cat. It's a warning. You're protected. You're protected. Be confident within yourself. I mean, because the Queen of Wands is very confident. Stand tall and be confident within your abilities, just within within you and your capabilities, no matter what they are, you know, your talents and everything. Just stand strong. Um, I just heard the sun will come out tomorrow, so clarity will come out. Um, regardless, like, it, it's almost like sometimes um, information that comes in, I know this happens to me, and I know it happens to a lot of other people too, but... Like, you'll get information, like, say you get information today, you feel it, sense it, however the hell you receive it, and then nothing, 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 but it happens the next day. So it's like future energy, because the next day is the future. 
Um, even though you're living in the moment, doesn't mean it's happening right this second. Because time runs consecutively, consecutively all at once. Um, but anyways, black cats are like warnings. Some people look at it as like bad luck, but that cat is protecting you. It's protecting this person. Letting you know, because we have warning here. So these intrusive thoughts, these negative thoughts, these uneasy feelings, this, I don't know, this confusion is protection, is what it feels like. I just heard, don't, don't be confused by other people's thoughts. Thoughts and opinions, because for some of you, it's what people say, like they try to tell you what you should and shouldn't do, and... You already know what direction you should go in, regardless if it's a thought or what someone's saying. You're protected from this fucking shit. What'd I say? Spirit just said, give up on this already. So if there's a problematic person around trying to cause some bullshit for you, no matter how they're doing it, it's time to give up. You're being warned. This cat is warning you that this sneaky motherfucker's headed your way. They got something to say. Whoever this is holds on to the things you say and gives it back to you. What the fuck? Okay. This person could be paying attention to you even though they're acting like they're not because his head's turned. But you're looking right at this person like, I see you, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Your intuition's telling you. But it's like... They're holding on to everything you say so that they can show it to you, so they can say it to you, so they can give it back to you. So if you say one thing, they'll say it back to you. And it will seem like a connection. Does that make sense? Something like that. It, it, I feel like it goes beyond just that, but that's an example, so put it where it fits for you. But this person's holding on to everything they that you say so that they can give it back to you, so that they can do it for you. So they can make something happen. Whether you're a reader or not. I mean, for some of you, if you are a reader, it could be like, oh, um, I see a penny on the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something small. And you say that and then this person's like oh okay i know where you go so i'm gonna drop some fucking change and then you're gonna you're gonna come across the penny that you predicted spirit was just letting you know that they were doing it or you were picking up on their thought process but i feel like spirit was letting you know giving you a heads up um i'm not saying that that's exactly what it is but it's just like an example and if it's not like predictive energy with readers or whatever it's just <coughs> someone's paying attention to you, shit you post, conversations you have with other people, no matter what it is, you could have just randomly said something to someone, they overheard it, and then they're going to repeat it kind of thing, or they're going to make it happen. That's kind of what I'm getting with whatever the hell this is. Um, they don't want you to do it. They don't want you to do something. Okay. I don't know who they is, and I don't know what this is. <clears throat> something to do with German. German? I just heard something that rhymes with German. Okay. I have no idea. Two of one. I just heard don't even think about it so I <laughs> don't even think about something maybe somebody's trying not to think about something specific because they don't want you to know but it could be written all over someone's face as well like you know you you don't just read intuition you read body language you're just not an idiot is what it feels like but the world in his hand feels like a phone like, I'm, I'm seeing something on my phone or device. But this person is acting like they're not seeing something. They're acting like they're not paying attention to something. Because he's not even looking at the world. He has his, like, phone or whatever. He has the internet in his hand. 
or her hand, but he's looking forward. You know what this is reminding me of for some of you? If somebody does that around you, like say this is, well, it could be a smug bastard you see. And I say this is your phone or theirs, this is them. And they're talking to you or it's just the two of you, What I don't know, whatever, it's just you and them. And um, they're on their device looking at fucking whatever the hell they're scrolling through. And then they look up at, but they're looking up at you, but they're holding their phone. They're recording something. This person could have recorded you in the past or that's coming up or they've been doing it. Um, recording the things you say to them, around them. Um, like, okay. It could just be mundane things. It could be, it's a lot of things. Um, it's not just... It's not just problematic conversations, but for example, if you say something that could get you in trouble, that could be problematic, um, they want to catch it, they want to record it, they want to catch you saying something, admitting to something, um, or they want to catch you flying off the handle. So if this person tells other people that you're a fucking psycho, basically, that you're abusive, that you're this, that you're that, that you're whatever the hell they say, they want to push your buttons to the point where you do flip out. And then when you do, they're not going to record themselves flipping out. They're going to be calm, cool, and collected, and they're going to record you screaming at them, and, and they're going to sound like the reasonable one. That's manipulation big time, just saying. That could have happened... Or it's going on or coming up. But that's what I'm seeing with this. So if someone's sitting there with their fucking phone like that. Just be aware that the possibility of them recording you is is quite high. Especially if this is resonating. But I feel like for some reason you're so protected. That it wouldn't work in the first place. Because they're not going to catch what they what they think they need. Or their recording will magically disappear or be deleted. And they won't even, like, they'll be like, what, where the fuck did that go? It just disappeared. Because Spirit's going to be like, not today. Um, and even if that doesn't happen, like, say you get mad. You, whatever you say when you're angry, you speak with reason. So people who would hear it would be like, Oh, well, we understand why so-and-so was upset. So, you know, we all get angry, whatever. You know, like, what? what's the big deal about this? Like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if there's a plan B here. Something didn't work initially. Someone could not make you look bad. Through whatever tactics. It could have been that or anything, but it's something similar to that. It is that and more. But whatever they tried before didn't work. So, there's a plan B here. And money could be tied to whatever this plan B is. They're going to have to go through the whole motherfucking alphabet. And they're still not going to win. Because I just heard from A to Z. Plan A, B, C, whatever. <laughs> you keep a knocking but you can't get in. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This person's not going to get whatever information they want or need because it's it's for it's a it's for um an ulterior purpose, a bad reason, success. This person definitely doesn't want you to get positive attention, but I feel like um you're getting the attention of someone this person's going to get some bad attention, I'm just saying. They want attention. For some of you, they could have just thought you were... There could be someone in this energy who just thought that whatever your intuition... Whatever was going on with your intuition, like if you were telling people about it or explaining things that you hear and see and feel and sense and whatever, they could have thought you were just saying something for attention, like... Like, oh yeah, right, that's not really happening kind of thing. But it is. But this isn't from the perpetrator, whoever's doing whatever this is. It's from an outsider who just didn't believe in you. Um, but they're starting to believe in the unbelievable, the unexplainable. 
Ten of Pentacles. Could be a family member who didn't believe um, something that was going on. Because for some reason, I feel like some of you didn't even fully believe in the information you were receiving just because it didn't match up. And other people wouldn't believe it either because it doesn't match up. And that's how narcissists work. You know what I mean? People like that who want to gaslight and, try and do triangulation, you know, they're good at what they do. Because, I don't know, they're cunning. It's like, if they would take those smarts, you know, the energy that it takes to fucking do something like that and turn it into something positive, they'd probably be a CEO of a fucking company. You know what I mean? Or they'd have their own damn company. But... I don't know. This person puts too much energy and work into... They're putting too much energy and work into something negative. Um, yeah, psychopathic fucking tendencies. <laughs> I just heard, I thought and said those things on purpose. To see if you'd hear me. So someone could have been testing your intuition, especially if we're talking about telepathy and shit, but, um, the things that they said, they, they, they could have said certain things on purpose. Like I said, they're holding on to shit you say to bring it back your way. That's exactly what it fucking is. Yeah, because there's some, someone who thinks they're so freaking smart. I just want to hit myself in the head like, ooh, you think you're so fucking smart. Maybe that's what, how this person thinks about you. Like, oh, you think you know everything. You think you're so fucking smart. I have a slice of this. Well, I feel like the universe sent the cake back to the motherfucker like oh it reminds me it's kind of funny because oh and this represents money as well we got money all over this like <coughs> on cash app and crap you could put those I don't know like I said pictures and whatever's and it's just making me think of this because I just said have a slice of this and then uh like spirit sent the cake back basically like say uh, someone sent me like a picture of a cake and it had a slice cut out and it looked like confetti and shit in it or Fruit Loops or something. I don't know, whatever it was. And, um, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's dollar signs. And the person goes, oh, I didn't even know those were in there. And I was like, oh, money. And like, it's raining money because it was like blowing out of the cake basically. So it's like somebody sending you bad juju, somebody trying to do something mean, trying to do something bad, like, um, evil hurt to hurt you in some way no matter what that is and it feels like it could be financially I'm not really sure but whatever it is whatever they were doing and saying and just like sent it your way and whatever um actually it's a blessing for you it seemed like they were being sly like a little trickster and oh, I'm getting away with this and whatever uh but all it did was push you further. All it did was make you stronger. All it did was build your confidence. All it did was help you. All it did was make you succeed. Or that's what it's gonna do if you haven't succeeded yet. Just saying. How fucking cool is that? That's awesome. Um, I just want a little bit more on the sneaky mofo. Like, what's up with this sneaky person? Like, what is their deal? breaking point limit final straw overwhelmed well they're very overwhelmed in the situation but i kind of feel like they wanted to bring you to your breaking point um they still might try just fyi that's why it's coming up apple computer apple devices could be significant so i don't know if you guys have iphones and stuff like that um i feel like this person's at their breaking point with the situation just with life but i want to bring you to your breaking point maybe the silence is killing them <laughs> Some of you could have cut them off. You're not saying a fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Well, if this person's holding on to everything you're saying to bring it back your way, you're not fucking saying shit. And it's kicking. It's killing them. They're waiting for you to say something. I don't know. Whatever information they need, they're not receiving. And they want it from a divine feminine. I don't know if you can see that. You're absolutely glowing, divine fam. A 
apology. Forgiveness returns sorry. Oh, this person might want to apologize for past actions and behaviors. Well, I guess it's time to apologize. This is what it feels like. Like, well, I guess that's all I have left is to fucking repent kind of thing. Um, polo could be significant. But that's making me think of, like, Marco Polo. Like, you play that in the pool or in the water. But you have your eyes closed. You can sense the person's energy. Like, where are you kind of thing. Like, you're feeling things out. Um, this person might want to feel out the energy or the situation before they apologize about this. So if somebody's going to bring this to your attention, have a conversation with you, like, truth is going to come out, they want to test the waters first. Like, I want to make sure you're in a good mood. I don't want you to be upset because this is going to upset you, so... You need to be in a good place before I fucking admit this kind of thing. Mini. Could be, I don't know, Mini. Like Mini Mouse, Mini, I don't know the name. The number nine. And Vine. Sorry. Sorry, I can't talk to you anymore. Okay. Second chance. Well, that's where the apologies come in. Somebody wants to apologize to have a second chance to start over. I don't know. Coming forward's a risk for someone. I just heard, like, you need to do this. Because I feel very demanding. Right now. So I'm going to do a straw. It could be the straw that broke the camel's back. But, like, the final straw. Straw. Like, you need to do this. I'm demanding somebody to do something. You need to apologize. So I'm going to do a straw. I don't know. And you need to apologize. But, breaking point. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what I felt yesterday. It's from the deck. I was just sitting downstairs and I'm like, this is my own energy. It's very peaceful. And all of a sudden, right here started hurting. And it reminded me when I got mad in my car. And this was during that wild energy I've talked about before. Where I like went like that to my steering wheel. And I was thinking of it, but I wasn't like... That moment wasn't significant. It was the feeling, like anger. Like, oh, I'm mad. Breaking point. Ooh. And I just was being very demanding. Um, but that's exactly the feeling I felt yesterday is what I just did. So it's predictive for this. But demanding. Spirit's demanding somebody to fucking apologize. I don't know. Someone did something they shouldn't have done. And I don't feel like this is forceful energy. It's coercion, basically. Or temptation. Trying to hurt someone in a roundabout way. Like you knew this was a fucking bad idea. You knew that um, you shouldn't say this, do this, offer, whatever. And someone did did or said or whatever. And they shouldn't have. Something to do with a mitt. Like a baseball glove, a catcher's mitt, something. It's time to admit it, is what I just heard. It's time to admit something. I don't know, someone was having fun bringing you down with them or trying, or trying to, at the very least. Because I don't feel like they brought you down. I really don't. Whoever this is is not... They got problems, and they need to figure their own shit out, is what it feels like. But I'm just going to pull one of these and then I'm going to go because the babies will be up for their nap soon. I'm actually surprised I didn't have them up yet. I just heard good girl. I don't. 
something to do with a good girl. So maybe someone looks at you as though you're a good person, like goody two shoes or something. Go, uh, go create. <laughs> it's co-create. Go create something. Co-create hard. Look for clear signs. Look for clear signs through this muddled mess. I feel like you will not steer yourself wrong. Spirit will not steer you wrong. Um, anything negative is just a mere warning. It's not for you to act upon. Do you know what I mean? There's some financial component here. Just really listen to yourself because I feel like you're definitely being warned of someone who's not so healthy, who's around you or will be around you. I don't know. This is going to create a little bit of a ruckus because whether this person comes clean, apologizes, says something to you, admits something to you or not, whatever is going on, it's not only going to be brought to your attention, it's going to be brought to the attention of others and not just spiritually. Like, it's almost like you've been, you've been told to apologize. You've been warned to not mess with so-and-so. Spirit's going to get involved. And when they get involved, they bring in towers. And these can be upsetting towers. They can, they can be really difficult, especially if you're not on the up and up. And the number 11 is very significant as well. Um, 111. But it's almost like, okay, if you're not going to back off, Spirit's saying this, like if this person isn't going to back off um, and stop causing problems, then their life is going to be turned upside down. Like the problems will be returned to sender. They're going to get the cake back in their faith. That's really what it feels like. Um, so just listen to yourself. But that's what I have for you. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Peace.